Welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and today I have for you what I suspect will be a genius puzzle. Now the reason for that is that this is by the compiler Fistemafel who is, uh, we've featured on the channel a few times already, his puzzles have been stellar and very well received by you guys. But also I've had no less than four requests to do this puzzle and it appeared on Logic Masters Germany uh, a few weeks ago and it has an incredibly high rating from those people who've solved it which isn't a great many so this could be a longer video but never mind I've been looking forward to trying it now it's called a Killer X Sudoku and you can see that's because it combines features of Killer Sudoku and Diagonal Sudoku so we need to put the numbers 1 to 9 on the two diagonals as well as um, uh, the usual boxes, rows and columns and we also have some cages in the grid and we're told that digits cannot repeat within cages um, although they can repeat within areas so for example in you know these grey labelled cells we're not saying that you know it's not possible for this cell and this cell to be the same number they could they could absolutely be the same number um, and we're told some stuff which I've tried to illustrate on the screen for you and I should appear if you click on the link under the video and try the puzzle. Um, so we know the grey cells sum to 31, the green cells to 18 and the pink cells to 17. Uh, and I've tried to pick nice colours so I hope, I hope you guys are satisfied um, and it's all doable. Now with that I'm just going to plough straight into this, let's get cracking and see what we can do. Uh, of course click on the link under the video if you want to play along. Um, and while I'm just thinking about this, my mind or my mouth will just speak um, some stuff about Patreon. Please think about sponsoring us on Patreon if you enjoy the content. Um, there's Patreon puzzles up and the video for this month's puzzle uh, Mark has uh, prepared and is going live today. So if you are a $3 a month subscriber, you should have access to that. Um, now how do we start this one of the great things i love about fister mafel's puzzles is you know if you get stuck you get stuck that's it you know you might as well just give up because you have to find the little piece of logic he's hidden in the puzzle to make the next sort of deduction and it makes for a beautifully linear solving process it's just you against the compiler and you have to go on the journey with him uh, or her but Fistemafel is a man, so him. Um, okay, right, oh I see, okay. So let's have a look at these grey cells to start with. So they add up to 31. Now, that means we can't make these two cells too large, otherwise we won't be able to get to 45, which is what we know this column must add to. Every row, every column, and every box in a Sudoku contains the numbers from 1 to 9. If you add those up, you get 45. So I know these yellow squares here sum to 45. Okay, so these have to be 1 and 2, because if they are any bigger than, uh, you know, 3 in total, then I would need these two cells to add up to more than 17. And I can't have that. So these two must be a 1 and a 2. And that will just about give us room if I take 3 off 31 I get 28 as I say I know the column adds to 45 therefore these two cells have got to sum to 17 and I can just do that with an 8 and a 9 and we are off and running so what do we do next so perhaps Maybe we have to do the same thing with the pink cells. So these are, oh yeah, okay. So these add to 17. So again, I've got to be careful about how big I make these two extreme cells because if I make them large, these four cells will be small and I won't be able to get to a high enough total. 
me just think about this for a second. So if these are 1 and 2, these would add to 14, plus 15 is 29. Wow. So that in that case, these two would have to add up to 16. And the only way that can work, given this is a 9 or an 8, is if this one is a 7. Oops, that one can't be a 7. Hang on. Wow. Because we know this is an 8 or a 9. Now if we go higher than adding, making these add up to 3, if we go to 4, 4 just works as well, doesn't it? So, okay, so this is a 1, these two squares are either a 1, 2 pair or a 1, 3 pair. And ah, this could be 8 or 9, okay. Because I could make these add up to 17, that would be valid. Oh, but look, this is a lovely trick. We've seen this a few times on diagonals recently. But look at this. Straight off the bat, Fistemafel shows us his his style. This digit, look, can't be an 8 or a 9. Because if we, if we try an 8 or a 9 in this cell, watch what happens. I'll put an 8 there. That would mean this cell can't be an 8 and this cell can't be an 8. So we'd have repeated 9s in the column. Now... Exactly the same logic, of course, applies if I try 9 there. So this that is very lovely. Straight off the bat, this has to be a 7, which means these two have to add to 16. Oops. And that means that one is an 8. And that means these two, 16, these do add up. These can't be 3. So this is, we've got a 1, 2 pair here. And a 1, 2 pair in this column, look. The central cell can't be a 7, 8 or 9. Ah, now, that's interesting. So if we have a look, we've got a 1 and a 2 here and a 1 or a 2 here. Now that means I can't put the other one two in any of those squares because if I do let's just imagine we try to put a one or a two in that square look what happens to this 15 cage we now know this 15 cage would have to contain a one and a two and therefore the third digit could never be high enough to make 15 in total so the one the other whatever this is if this was a one the two would have to be down here if this is a two the one would have to be down here I'm not sure what use that is, but I thought I'd tell you because I spotted it. Um, okay, so what are we meant to do next? Nine, seven, sixteen plus fifteen is thirty one. So these four squares have to sum to fourteen. Ah, now that, that is interesting, isn't it? So, can these highlighted squares here, sort of orange squares, can they contain an 8? The answer, I think, is no. Because if I try and put an 8 into these orange squares, the other three digits would have to be 1, 2, and 3. So, these two would have to be 3 and 8. And these two would have to be 1 and 2, and that can't happen because we already have to put 1 or 2 into this square. That means there is an 8 in this 15 cage, which means that we also need 7 more to make 15. Uh, okay, so this is no use. So because this obviously we can add 1, 6, 2, 5 or 3, 4 to this. And then the other ways of making seven are just going to appear in the orange squares. So I don't think that's terribly helpful. So what am I meant to do next? I've not really used the green squares. Let's have a quick look at the green squares. So we've got 18 here. So these four squares have got to add to 27. Ah, oh, hang on, there is some logic we can do here, look. If these add to 18, 
in five cells. They can't possibly include a nine. So the nine must be in one of those four cells. Now it can't be here because there's a nine here already and it can't be here. So there is a nine in one of those two positions. And this one, well, Oh, hang on, maybe we can do more than that. So seven, sorry, 18 in five cells. So there must be a one in one of these cells. That's for sure. Otherwise we don't get high enough. And I think there must be a two as well because one plus three plus four plus five plus six is too many, that's 19. So there's a one and a two in the yellow squares, but I don't know whether they're here or here. Or mixed. Hmm. Okay, so I'm stuck a bit. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Oh, this is unbelievable. Uh, oh, I've, right, yes, I've spotted something here. This is very, very cunning. Let's have a look at this diagonal. Shouldn't have highlighted those two squares. Let me try that again. So, where can the numbers 1 and 2 go on this diagonal? Now, we've talked already about why there can't be a 1 or a 2 up here. Because if I put a 1 or a 2 up here, I break the 15 cage. So the one and the two are not here, they're not here, they're not here. In this column, there's already a one and a two, so they're not here. We know they're not here because we know that there's a one and a two in the green cages. So we've only got three squares along this diagonal that can contain a one and a two. That's this one, this one, and this one. But if I put one and two into these two squares, they add up to three. But I know these four squares add up to 20 because we've got 25 already in the, in the, in the box. So these four must add up to 20 to give 45. If I make these two three, these two have to add up to 17. And that is impossible because I have to have a nine. And we know the 9 is in the 25 cage, and it's also in that diagonal. So there's absolutely no way those two squares can contain a 9. Ergo, these two squares are not 1 and 2. Ergo, that square is a 1 or a 2. How beautiful is that? And now, oh, now we've got some stuff going on. So now, look, this arrangement here, however these are arranged, you can see... There's no ones and twos in those squares, so these squares are ones and twos somehow. Oh, well, yeah, these two squares are ones and twos somehow, but we know the green squares contain ones and twos. So this can't be a one or a two. Good grief. So we get a one, two pair here. <laughs> oh, and look, now, now the one and the two can't be there. So the one and the two are over on this side of the green squares. Oh man, right, okay. So, what more can we get from this? So, we now know that there is a one or a two in one of these two squares. And... Maybe... Maybe I have to look at the other diagonal now and ones, where can ones and twos go along this diagonal? Because we've got ones and twos here, so I can't put them there. I can't put them there. I can't put them here. I can't see why they can't go in this square, this square. I obviously can't put both in the central box, but I could have one. Ah, okay. So maybe ones and twos aren't where I'm next meant to look. 
feel like I'm I feel like they are for some reason, but I'm not quite seeing how to do it. Okay. Um Oh, hang on, hang on, there's another trick. This 8. This 8 means there's no 8 in those two squares. And these 8s mean there's no 8 in those two squares. So there is an 8 on this diagonal. I'm not sure that's very useful, but... Well, actually, it is useful. Oh, it's very useful. Gosh, I'm being so stupid. Look, we've got... Now I've got eights on both diagonals. Look, none of those squares can be a diagonal, so the eight is forced into the 25 cage. And why do I think that's important? Well, it's because I've already got a nine in the 25 cage. Oh, this is unbelievable. How on earth did you set this? So now I've got 17 from two digits in the 25 cage, so the other three digits have to add up to eight. Now, what do we know about eight in three digits? Well, the thing I know is it always contains a one. And it can't have a one in any of those squares because there's a one here. So there is a one in one of those two positions. And the other two digits have got to, have either got to be three and four or two and five. Ah, so if they're two, Hang on a minute. If they're two and five in here, didn't I do some logic earlier that said I needed to have... Yeah, where do I put... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I'm being slow here. Just let me think about this for a second. I now know I need to put a 1 on this diagonal, and I know it's not in either of those squares, and it's not in either of those squares. So it must be in one of these three squares, and the only one it can be is that. Ooh. So that's a 1, 2. This is a 2 and a 1. This is a 1. We now know there's a 2 down here from the logic we did earlier. And we know we've got 1s here, so there is a 1 in this 15 cage. Right, so the 15 cage is now forced. The 15 cage is 1, 6, 8. And we know that can't be a 1 because the 1's are vertical. And we, and we know that the 2 is on this diagonal. And it can't be here. So the two is in one of those two squares. So the two is not part of the eight K. So good grief. So this contains a three and a four. So this one has to be a three or a four. Now, how do we dis disambiguate this now? Oh, I see. Maybe I can use the fact these, yeah. These. These four cells have to sum up to 27. So, what does that mean? That means if this is a 3, this has to be 7, 8, 9, which means this could be 7, this could be 8, 9. If this is 4, this has to be 6, 8, 9. So this has to be a 6 or a 7, does it? Because this can never be an 8 or a 9. So I need to somehow limit this down. I think these two squares always have to be 8 and a 9 in both iterations. So there's no 8 in the verticals. And we can get rid of those. This is a one, three, four triple down the center here. And 
Okay. So, something is nagging at me here. Ah, aha, yes, I see. This seven is important. Look, where can I put a seven in the central box? Well, it can't go in the 25 cage because we know what that's made up of and it can't go on this diagonal, so it must go on the other diagonal. Oh yes, and now look, now we can limit the seven in this box. It can't be here or here or here, so it's there. Oh, lovely. So now this square can't be a seven. It has to be a six. And let me just think about this. So when this was set, then I need these four squares to add up to 27. So this must be a four. That gives us a one, three pair in these two squares. This is a four. And, ah, where can six go up here now? It can't go in any of those squares because of these sixes that I've highlighted. So the six is in the diagonal. Let's um, make that a six, eight pair. Oh, wow, and now where does the six go in this box? So it can't go here or here. So the six is in those two positions matching up with the twos. This is a work of genius. This is unbelievable. So this must be five, seven in the other diagonal. And now these three squares must be one, two, and three. Well, this one can only be a three look because we've got a one and a two in the row. So these two squares are a one, two pair. This one here means this can't be a one. This puzzle is frightening. I mean, the design of this is absolutely off the charts. Now, how can I disambiguate what's going on in the center here? So down this column, look, we've still got a place. Oh, that square can only be a four or a five now because it can't be a three or a seven. That one can be a three, four or five. One's two, there must be a two up there. Maybe I have to look at this other diagonal. I've not looked at this diagonal for a while. So let's have a look at this. We need three, five, and ah, three, five, and nine. I don't see how. Three, five, and nine. I'm not quite seeing how to unpack this. Um, Sorry about this. Let me just stare at this for a moment. Uh, well, it might be more longer than a moment, but see if I can work out how to make progress. I've not used these other cages yet, so I've got this one. I can't see how on earth to use this one. I mean, all that's telling me, I suppose, is there's an eight in one of those three squares in this box. That doesn't seem to help me. Ah, uh, eight cage maybe, that's useful because look, we've got a two six there. So this eight cage can't contain a two six. It can be a three five or a one seven. Oh, hang on, look. Hang on, this box is much more limited than I thought. Because look, we've got a one three pair here and a one three pair here. So, oh yeah, this is good. So these squares can't contain a one or a three. I can't put a one or a three in a 14 cage. And I can't put both a one and a three in the eight cage. Now that means that square has to be a one or a three. And then 
there's a 1 or a 3 in this square and that will either go with a 1 7 combination or a 3 5 combination so ah so 2 is also limited therefore because 2 is not in here or here and 2 here good grief so there's a 2 here which means that's not a 2 and the 4 now Oh, the 4 can't go in this square, it can't go in the 8 cage, and it can't go in the 14 cage. So there is a 4 in one of those two squares, which means this square is a 5. How clever is this puzzle though? Now there's a 5 up here. Oh, now we have to be a bit careful. Look at this. Look at... Oh, look at this. Ooh, now look at this. So, this five had quite an effect on these two squares. And I've noticed that in this box, we have to be a bit careful with where fives go, because... We've already limited those two squares. They've been knocked out. You can never put a 5 in the 10 cage because obviously that will lead to a repeated 5. So the 5 is restricted. But look, watch what happens if we try a 3 here. The 3 here forces this square to be a 9. In fact, I'll show you. This 3 would force this to be a 9. But that puts a 5 here. And that's impossible because now these 5s pincer this box and force a 5 into this square and that will force a 9 here and that leads to repeated 9's down in row 8 and that is no good so this square cannot possibly be a 3 it must be a 4 now what does that do for us? It forces a 4 down there, look. So that's a 4-5 pair. This is a 2-3 pair. Oops. Oh, and that 3 is going to be... Yeah, this 3 is going to be good now. So that gives us a 3 and a 2. Oh my god, now this becomes a 1-2 pair. This is a work of art, this puzzle. It is absolutely extraordinary. Now there's a three over here. Eight. These two squares now, we still need to put a three in this box. So these are three and seven in some order. We now know there's a 5 locked into one of those squares, so let's put that in. And we need still need 5s. This must be a 5 or a 7. Hang on, yes, this 10 cage now. It can't contain a 1, 2 and a 3 on this side and it can't contain a 1, 2 and a 3 on the other side. So this 10 cage is a 4, 6 pair. Now, does that tell us anything new? Seven, six. Sorry about this. How long is the video so far? Oh my god, it's half an hour. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't feel I've gone slowly at all. I feel like I've sort of solved it quite well. Um, probably what I'm doing here is just missing something totally obvious that's right in front of me. I can, like, I can see I can pencil mark those threes, for example. Um, grinding to a halt here. This is very annoying. 
Ah, this 4-6 pair, yes. 4-6 up here, look, on this box. Where can we put a 4 and a 6 in the box? They can only go into these squares. Oh, God, I've got a 3 here, look. I can just delete the 3 from there as well, which gives me a 5-9, and that makes that a 3. Oh, gosh, I was being dumb. Sorry, guys. Um, so now I've done everything up here. This must be an 8 at the top. That gives me an 8 here and a 6 here. That puts a 6 there. Oh, the 6 here fixes the 6 and the 4 in the 10 cage. So now these 6s interact and force the 6 into this square. And the 4 must be in one of those two positions. And now probably we've just got to be careful not to go too fast. This must be a 5 and a 7 because we know obviously the green squares have got to add up to 18. And these two squares here have got to be 7 and 9. Let's just put that in. Ah, now, I wonder now whether this is why this cage is here, look. Because so far we've not used any logic on this cage. Now this cell cannot be an 8 because it would repeat in the cage. And this 8 here means there must be an 8 in that square. So now there must be an 8 in one of those two positions. The 14 cage can't contain a 6, so the 14 cage did turn out to be a 5-9 cage, and that's going to give us a 9 over there as well. This must be a 4 or a 5. And... Three is locked into one of those two squares. We still, I don't think I can. Res I still can resolve this, can I? Ah, yes, I can. The fives and the threes now are pointing at this square, so this square cannot be a three-five eight, a three-five way of making eight. So it must be a one-seven way of making eight, and that's forced. That's this way round because of the seven here. So this square is a three which means there's a three in one of those two squares. And this seven five is now resolved. Now that must be helpful, surely. So there's now, oh no, I was about to say something incorrect because of this five, so I mustn't do that. Let me think again. The one here fixes this diagonal look with a 2 and a 1. That means that this is a 1 and a 2 in that order. We've done this diagonal. We haven't fixed the 2, 6 yet on this diagonal or the 5, 9, but that must be we must be on the verge of being able to do that. There must be a 2 here. This square here, look, has got to be an 8 to complete the row. Therefore, this is an 8. Therefore, this is an 8. And that gives us a 4 as well. And that means there's a 4 in one of those two squares down on this side. <laughs> and this square is a 5 to complete that row. And that is going to be huge because now we can start filling some stuff in again. That gives us the 9 and the 5 here. Must be a 5 in one of those two squares. And a 9 in one of these three squares. Oops. I'm hopeful I'm going to be able to solve this. I know it's a long video and had a bit of a hiccup in the middle, but it's still, well, it's been an incredible puzzle. An incredible puzzle. Now, five, look, can't go here anymore, so it must go here. That locks a seven below it. The six, eight is resolved by the eight down there, so we can fix that. The one here resolves this is an eight, so we can fix that. That fixes the eight and the nine in the middle, which fixes a nine there. 
These squares at the bottom have got to be 4, 6 and 9. Now can we just fix those somehow? Yes, we can fix the 9 in the middle. And these two have got to be 4, 6. And over on this side we need a 3 and a 5 and that's resolvable. So 5, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2. Ah, and that gets us the 2 and the 6 which resolves the 6 and the 4. Like you can see now if we look at that carefully we've got 3, 4 pair there now so this can no longer be a 2. And over on this side we've got the 4 and the 5 fixed. These have to be 7 and 9 which ought to be resolvable if I have not made a mistake. And finally therefore there must be something about these top digits that's fixable otherwise I've broken the puzzle. Yes this 6 fixes the 6, the 4, the 4, the 3, the 3, the 7. Yes! What a puzzle that is! What a puzzle! Fister Mafel, you have outdone yourself. That was absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, do come back next time for another edition of Cracking the Cryptic where we will try and find a puzzle this good, but I'm not sure we'll be able to. Wow. Mm -hmm.